All right, y'all. So I finally did it. I got my sister lives. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. All right, y'all. So I finally did it. I got my sister lives. Oh yeah, by the way, here are the charm bangles that I made. Some are designer, some are not designer. Well, you know what? Never mind, they are designer. I have Chanel designer uh, bangle. Well, two Chanel designer bangles and the other one is a normal bangle, but I'll discuss it at the end of the video. You have to see the link below. All right, anyway, so I also have my lashes on by my business, Lady Love Collections. And the ones I am wearing right now are Vegas Baby. And I do have some left. I will be getting some more soon, so stay tuned. But anyway, about the video. So I finally did my, vi I finally did, or got, let me correct that. I finally got my sister locks. So I was gonna do inner locks, micro locks, which are very small, but they're still bigger than sister locks. So once I had my little tester locks, what, two days after, well, I guess like two or three days after my birthday. Oh no, it was one day after my birthday. I was like, okay, I can deal with these. These are cute. And then when I started feeling that they had got a little bit bigger, I was like, mm, I don't know, cause I don't really want chunky locks in my hair anyway. Like they look good on everybody else. I just don't want them on me. Cause I know I, I'm not gonna look right with them. So I ended up switching my mind. And when I switched my mind, I let my lactation know. And I was so grateful that she was still willing to change my locks because when I had my initial um, consultation, it was, you gotta pick whichever one you want now because if you don't, then you just gonna be stuck with what you got. And I had chose at that time, from how she explained it, was inner locks, micro locks, um, which are the very small version of inner locks. It's not considered, I mean, it's not considered sister locks, but because they don't have like the same grid and it's not as many, but it's close to it. And I just wanted like the really small ones. So Monday, what was Monday? I don't know, I don't even remember what Monday was. So Monday, February 22nd, I had hella anxiety. I was like, oh my God, Friday, I'm supposed to begin my locks. Oh my God, what they gonna look like. I keep being told like, do not look on YouTube, Pinterest, like none of that because your locks are not going to be like your lock crush. Even people were telling me that um, on like these Facebook groups and other locticians and things like that. And I was just like starting to get nervous because the more I kept waiting. So I had got my, I did my consultation January the 14th. My birthday was the 13th. So I did my, like, my consultation on the 14th. And my date to get them done weren't until February 26th. So that was like already a month and a half. And by me waiting for so long, now I'm contemplating and thinking about it. And I'm just like, ooh, now I'm freaking out because now it's the week of. So now it's Monday and that's what I was getting to. I was freaking out. I'm just like, oh my God, what am I gonna look like? Where are they gonna look like? How is it gonna be? Are they gonna grow chunky? Are they gonna have like the little rounded end tips? Can I still try to keep the ends curly? Is that even a such thing? Like all these different questions and concerns in the back of my mind. And then I just started freaking out low key in my head. Like I just can't do it. I probably just need to cancel my appointment, blah, blah, blah. And then she was like, girl, you just need to call me. So I called her and I just told her like some of my concerns. And she was just like, look, to be honest, we don't know what it's gonna be like. That's a whole life journey. So whatever y'all thinking, I'd rather let y'all know for real. It's not what is it's not what it's gonna be or what you think. Your hair is gonna do whatever it's gonna do. You don't really have control of it, but you kind of do because if you make sure you take care of your hair, then obviously it'll be healthy, it won't be breaking off. 
it is still lacking its own natural moisture and all of that stuff. However, how thick it grows, how long it grows and all that other stuff and the way it forms itself is not based on how you think it's going to be. It may be, you know, it just does its own thing. That's the whole point of locks. And that's the part I was not, it just was not clicking. So for me, I'm not really a control freak, but it's like if I, it just helps me to know like what the next step is going to be, what it's going to be. So like for me, I never would cut my hair and me cutting my hair back in May of 2020 was something huge. Like I would never cut my hair. It would keep breaking off and I would clip my ends and then I would just never go that short. I ended up, my hair ended up being this short and y'all saw videos. It was short as hell, period. It was, it was just short. So after that, then I was able to finally get my curl pattern in and then I found the final, I finally found the correct products to use and then my hair started thickening and then started growing and then I started having curls and then curl patterns and then people was just like oh my god how you get your curls and then I told them like what care products I was using and at the time it was Uncle Funky Daughter so that really worked for me because it's, everything was plant based vegan based and you know it was just perfect for my hair and my texture and it was it was just amazing so that helped my hair grow. So I was able to get my hair to grow from this to like, you know, where it's like down here. So now I clipped my ends. I wanted to make sure my ends are clipped. And then I did the, uh, and I had the what's names in my hair. So when Thursday came, um, I deep conditioned my hair first because they do not want you to have anything in your hair. They don't want you to blow dry your hair. They want to make sure everything, all the shampoo is out. You cannot condition your hair like none of that. Like nothing. Whatever you think you go put in your hair, you do not. No. So I deep conditioned my hair first. And then after I deep conditioned it, I washed it completely out. And after I washed it completely out, um, I was, I forgot that I was supposed to air dry it. So that was my mistake. And I ended up blow drying it to make it easier for her. Cause that's what I was just thinking. This make it easier for her, but do not blow dry your hair. Do not blow dry your hair if you are planning on getting locks. They want it at the most natural state as possible. And what that means is you just need to let it air dry. So if you twist it up, braid it, and plaques, whatever, they just want it to be natural. Do not blow dry it. Me, in my case, I accidentally blow dried it because I forgot. I mean, it was a whole month and a half that I was supposed to do it, um, get my locks put in anyway. And when I tell you the time just flew past, it literally took two days. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely took two days. I was there Friday from nine to about nine at night, but then we had like an hour break and then I didn't start to like 9.30. So then I took off some time. And then Saturday, I got there at eight, and then I think we got done about five-ish, six o'clock. So, or maybe even closer to six. I don't know, we was watching, excuse me, we was watching Issa, Issa Rae's um, TV show. So it was like Issa, whatever it's called, on Hulu. And it was like four seasons. So we watched all of the season between the two days and that's how long it took for my hair to get done if that helps you out and that was a really good tv show by the way so y'all need to watch it but anywho um i really excuse my language i really flex with the hairstyle if y'all are scared to get interlocks or microlocks or anything dealing with natural locks i would suggest that you do it because if you do it then you will at least know. If you ever want to take it down, you can. It's not really highly suggested that you take them down. Excuse flash. It's not highly suggested that you take them down, but you still have that as a choice, or you can just cut them off and start over. That's up to you. Me, I'm just gonna try to go with the flow, which is always hard for me. I need structure, that's just me. I am an organizer, plus I am a Capricorn, so it's kind of hard for me to just let my hair do it it want to do and not care about it so i'm caring about it but y'all get what i'm saying like i don't have to do anything really to it just make sure it stay healthy um 
I just naturally let the environment help control the locks or whatever they say. Um, but yeah, so fire, I'm loving them. And I will definitely keep you guys updated and posted about my lock journey. And I will definitely add that to my YouTube page. I will put my link at the bottom. Um, but definitely also support my business is Lady Love Collections. And I am selling mink lashes. Uh, regular strips and my um, magnetic strips. I'm also selling lip glosses that's still vegan friendly. And then I also have my charm bangles, um, non-designer and designer, and I'm still working on my sunglass collections. Um, I may take that completely out, but you know, who knows? I just wanna help focus on natural beauty and helping other women to understand that natural beauty and just be excited to be in their own skin. And now the Lark journey is going to help elevate that more for me. Um, even though me being natural started that. And now I'm just like, I went natural early. I might as well just lock it up. Cause I really didn't plan on being locked up until with my hair. Let's get it twisted. Um, I didn't really plan on being, having my hair locked up until like I was in my late thirties, forties or whatever. Um, but since COVID hit, I was just like, you know what, I'ma just, I'ma just lock it up. I don't have nothing else to do to my hair. You know, you have like barely any natural hairstyles and I didn't want to keep putting my hands on my hair and trying to keep manipulating in certain styles and brushing it and, and all this other stuff. Now I put my brushes, my combs, my hair clips, all of that, that's in my workroom. If I need to do that for somebody else's hair, I got it for somebody else's hair. If I need to use that for my wigs, I got that for my wigs. I don't need that anymore. Like, I can just literally wake up, use a little bit of water for my scalp, not for my locks and stuff because I need it to train to lock. So don't get that twisted. Do not put no water in your hair until your loctician say it is okay. If she or he does not say it is okay, do not do it. But my loctician told me that if I have like bed hair, I can use uh, some water. Don't let it drip too much, but you know, after you wash your hands, go like this, and then you could just go like this, you know, massage your scalp a little bit, but to kind of like pull the locks down and kind of like style them. But anywho, I definitely got my locks in and I will show you. Here's my locks. I really love the fresh look, like I'm not even gonna lie. This is about to be the new journey, y'all. So we're about to see, cause my hair was already kind of thick, but because I have high density hair that taxed on more, then my hair is like five inches, so that taxed on more. So, you know, you pay with what you get for. So you definitely pay what you get. So I definitely have, my hair is neat. Um, it's definitely grew a lot. So now that I got these and I started my first most, I give it 70, mm, I give about 60% of my hair was completed on Friday the 26th, was that the 26th? Yeah, Friday the 26th of February. And then the rest of it on the right side was completed on um, the 27th. So yesterday, the 27th of February. But yes, I, I actually do love them. Um, I'll definitely style some of it and show y'all how I style them and how I want to wear them. But right now, oh, look. I also got my Magic Lock, what is it? Lock Girl Magic t-shirt. She also sold them on her website. Um, definitely got my t-shirt because now I'm in a lock family. I can't wait to start my journey and see where this go. So hopefully y'all can support my YouTube channel with the locks as well as my business um, because this is what's gonna help me grow as well as continue to help me with my entrepreneurship because I definitely wanna work for myself one day. Um, but yeah, 
I have more content coming up soon, so definitely stay tuned. Um, again, if you guys are looking for uh, mink lashes, magnetic mink lashes, uh, vegan lip glosses, and designer charm bangles at regular bangles, I also have um, adult and adolescent can wear the same bangles, and I also have kid bangles. Um, you can also look at my website that will also be at the bottom below is ladyloveCollections.com. L-A-D-E-E-L-U-V collections spelled normal C-O-L-E-C-T-I-O-N-S dot com. And you can go ahead and follow me on, on my YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel, as well as my other business pages on Facebook and IG, even my TikTok videos that I also put on there. All of that will also be described in the link below. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you.